Hello, it's Andrea. And welcome to another class. This is going to be a little shorter. Uh, this is going to be a no knees class. And so when I say no knees, we will not be kneeling on our knees. And we're going to be taking precautions to protect and even strengthen the space around the knees. So if you've had knee injuries, knee surgery, uh, hopefully this class works for you. I know everybody's different and we all have varying degrees of use even in an injured knee. So please listen to your body, do what works best for you. So for today's class, um, the only prop you'll need is a chair. So you can do the whole thing seated or basically seated from the chair instead of being seated on uh, the floor or something like that, if that is better for you and your body. So grab a chair and come join me for a no knees class. Okay, to begin, we will uh, be starting with some centering. So like I said, you can either sit down on a bolster or pillow or something, or be seated in a chair. And go ahead and close your eyes, or set a soft gaze somewhere in the room. And come to your breath. Notice the movement of the breath at the nostrils. Begin to notice movement that the breath makes in your body. Start to bring your awareness to your belly. Maybe if you'd like you could place your hands on your belly and feel it rise and fall with each breath. As you inhale, your belly inflates and as you exhale, to your palms if you have your hands on your belly. Try to deepen with each breath and elongate each breath. Find that diaphragmatic breathing. to bring some movement into the body. Looking up as you inhale and looking down as you exhale. Come back to center. Turn your head over one shoulder. Other shoulder. Keep linking this movement with your breath. So going at the pace that feels good for you. Good. Come back to center. Let's start to flutter the eyes open and get some shoulder rolls going. the other direction. Sometimes I like to change it up. And let's start to lubricate the spine a bit with some gentle cat-cows. So inhaling, arching the back, opening up through the chest, shoulder blades come together, exhaling, rounding down, looking down towards the floor, inhaling up, and exhaling down. You can allow your hands to slide back and forth on your legs. I'm just going to move to the side so you can see. You can stay where you're at. 
Just that movement in the spine. Inhaling, belly is soft. Exhaling, rounding, squeezing all that air out. spine. Scooch back around here, sitting up nice and tall to reach one arm overhead, really extend through the fingertips and go ahead and lean over, have a little side stretch. If you're sitting on the floor, you can press your hand, other hand into the floor. If you're seated, grab a hold of the chair, if you're seated in a chair. Good. Inhale, back up. Draw up the other hand, reach up nice and tall, and reach over. Again, breathing here, either pressing down into the floor or holding the bottom of the chair. Good. And on the next inhalation, come all the way up and shake it out and we're going to come up to standing so in whatever way that feels good to you come up to standing now that we're standing we'll do a few more gentle warm-ups so let's just start to do some twists but as you twist um, We'll start to do some twists. So bend at the elbows, nice soft fists. We'll start to twist one side to the other. And making sure that you're letting that opposite heel come up. So we're paying attention to the knees. And then start to bring your arms up. And then maybe they come up overhead. Good. And let your arms come down to the place you liked the best, slowly, until they are loose and hanging. Good, and slowly come to stillness. Excellent. Let's find our Tadasana for a moment. Feet are generally parallel to each other. We all have different makeups in our bones and feet, so be comfortable here. See if you can feel all four corners of your feet. You can also do this seated, just sit in a way that you can ground your feet down into the earth. Engage in through the legs, so imagine that you're ripping this mat apart from side to side, so that first feeling of muscle tenseness, engage there. Lift up through the pelvic floor, engage the core, and an analogy for that would be if you were standing or sitting here and you didn't want somebody to push you over, how would you engage those muscles to hold you still? Draw the shoulder blades down, your back, eat. shoulders are away from your ears, and then drawing up nice and tall through the top of the head. I you notice I'm closing my eyes, so if you want to close your eyes and feel this pose, feel free. Good. All right, we'll flutter the eyes open now, and we're going to come into a bit of a strengthening pose for the knees. So listen to your body. If there's any pain, back off. So we're going to come into chair pose. So I'm just turning sideways so you can see me a bit better. Um, so here, we're going to bend down as deeply as feels good to you, right? So I'm going to start with my hands on my waist, and I'm going to start to send my um, tailbone down. So I'm imagining there's a chair behind me that I'm going to sit into. So keeping uh, my torso kind of upright, I'm going to sit back. 
And so here I'm in a kind of a shallow bend and you can come down as far as feels good for you. So always your choice here. So I'm gonna come to about here. I'm gonna turn so you can see how my feet are stacked. So they're about shoulder width, hip width apart. Um, nice and strong. My weight is just slightly back in my feet. So here I'm breathing. Good. If you are seated, um, a one way to do this, so I'm just going to come out of it. You can stay if you want to. Um, one way to do this is to press your hands into your thighs and just begin to sit up. And so it's more of a dynamic movement. So I begin and then I come back. So this is going to do some strengthening in those similar muscles. All right, so there's your option if you're seated and feel free to use a wall or something else to help support you. So come on out if you haven't already and pause here, take stock of your body and breath. Come back to your breath. Sometimes when we're doing strengthening exercises, our breath can get away from us, but if you come into your breath when you're doing these poses, sometimes it helps in certain ways. So let's do that again. Inhale and as you exhale, we come down into the chair pose. Good. I'm just gonna turn forward again here. So here you can keep your hands on your waist. You could also bring your hands here. You could bring them into prayer pose. Really extend up through the top of the head. Press down into the feet. Find your breath if this is getting a little warming. Good. I'm gonna do one more breath. Good, and next time you inhale, come up. Good, shake it out. Excellent. Another option for this chair pose is to lean your bum when you're doing this against the wall. So here, I'm pressing down. You remember those wall sits we used to do in gym class? Come down only as far as you want to. So another option for a chair pose. Good, come on up. So we're gonna do a couple standing poses. Um, so I'm gonna take the chair and bring it in with the back of the chair facing me to start with. We're gonna come into warrior one. So coming here, <clears throat> you're gonna use the chair back as your support. You could also do this if you're facing a wall and use the wall for support. That's absolutely cool too. So start here, find your Tadasana. So we wanna find our breath and find stability in, in our standing poses. Good. All right, I'll take my hands to the back of the chair. I'm gonna step back, straight back, like I'm on railroad tracks. So I'm gonna take my left foot step back like I'm on railroad tracks. So I've taken a bit of a smaller step. Um, that may protect your knees, it may feel better. Um, play around with the distance you want to go. So you may want to go back further. Noticing here, we're bending that front knee and that knee is not gonna go past the ankle. So your choice. I'm gonna turn just a bit so you can see I'm going wide as well. So this distance, this width here is going to allow me to be more stable the wider I go side to side. And that works for most poses. So just something to think about. So stepping back, finding your position and what feels best for your body, bending this, the front knee, the back foot is pointing out at a 45 degree angle and I'm really extending out through the top of my head. So you can keep your hands on the chair, you can keep one hand on the chair, or you can come off, and I can even use the wall here. You can bring your arms up. Always have options for arms. Let's breathe here and stay as long as it feels good to you. Good, one more breath. 
And then if your arms are up, bring your arms down, set them onto the chair, and step forward. Good. And I like to do a little hip circle in between. All right, let's do the other side. So I'm stepping a little forward with my left foot. My right foot comes back behind me and picking the distance that I want to go that feels good. Standing up nice and tall. Really feel like somebody's pulling up you up through the top of the head. And then pick the arm version that you would like to go with. Breathe. I change it up a lot in the video so you can see options, but you can stay in one, the one you like. Keep breathing deep in the belly. Good. Bring your hands back to the back of the chair. Take a step forward and do some shaking it out. Good. All right. Take your chair now and turn it around. So we'll use the seat. Now we're going to do angle pose. So standing in front of the chair, finding Tadasana again. What I'm going to do, and you can use a wall or you can use the chair for support. I'm going to, again, step back behind me. So my back foot is facing forward. And again, so again, choosing how far back I want to step. This time, though, the legs are going to both stay straight. When I say straight, you don't want to lock the knees. You don't want to hyperextend. You want a soft bend in the knee. So now we're here, and I'm going to start to fold forward. So I'm sending my hips back and up. I'm going to start to fold forward, and I'm going to come down, bringing my hands to the seat of the chair. And so I've got both legs are straight, and maybe this is where I want to stay. So you may feel a stretch in the back of the front leg. Maybe you would feel good to come down further. Wherever you'd like to be, rest here. start to come up, look forward, and you can step that back leg forward and we'll come into a little forward fold. So bend the knees and come down, you can rest on the seat of the chair. Good. Bend the knees a little bit more, press down strongly into the feet and then come all the way up to standing. Good, let's do the other side. So I'm going to do it this direction so you can see me. Um, so you're gonna step the opposite foot back. So this is also showing you where a way that you don't need to use the chair if you feel like you don't want to. So here, now, I'm gonna step the other foot behind me <clears throat> and you can go further. So I'm keeping both legs nice and straight standing up nice and tall. So now here I'm going to start to fold forward, keeping both legs straight and coming down as far as I'd like to. So here's where I might put my hands on the chair. I can also rest my hands on my back and come down further. So this is angle pose. Keeping that front leg slightly bent, like a soft bend in the knee. We're not locking the knee. Good. Keep breathing. And then you can press into the seat of the chair, 
look up, start to come up, and let's, so your options are, if you're not using the chair, it might be easier to come all the way up. If you're using the chair, you may step that leg together, start in a forward fold, and then press up from there. Good. Let's get a little twist into our lives. So you can do this seated, definitely. I like to do this at a, at a wall. I'm gonna scooch towards the wall, stand up nice and tall, take my hand that's closest to the wall and bring it behind me, and then start to gently twist so I'm facing the wall. And then I'll use my hands to be a little bit of leverage. And then slowly start to look over that shoulder with your head and start to unwind. Good. Switch around to the other side. So now standing close to so now I'm standing close to the wall on this side, standing up nice and tall, take this hand, come behind, and then start to twist towards the wall. One more breath. Good, start to turn forward. And let's finally do a little gentle um, opening up through the hips. So again, we'll bring in the chair here. Um, sometimes the chair might be a little too high for certain people. So you can get like a small stool, a uh, heavy book or something if you'd rather do it that way. So it's a bit of a balancing pose too. So feel free to set yourself up against a wall. And I'm gonna lift my foot closest to the chair up, grounding into the opposite foot, and bring it up and set it on the chair. So here, I can have, uh, send it forward to have a little less bend in the knee. But here, I can open up to the side, bringing a little bit of opening in through the hip with a little less intensity on the knee. Breathing here. And the lower you have it, maybe the less intense it is on the knee. And you can also do this seated, having something out to the side. You can go higher than that too. Good. All right. We'll do the other side. Grounding into the outside leg and lifting that foot up and setting it on the chair and then finding the position that feels best. and tall. Good. And then slowly release your foot down. Shake it out. We'll do one more opening up through the hip. We'll do that seated. <clears throat> So we are sitting, you may, be, you may sit a lot, so this may be a helpful opening in the front of the hips, because if our legs are always bent at this angle, sometimes we can have tightening and that sort of thing in the hip, which also affects the lower back and everything else. 
So I'm just going to scooch over to the side here and kind of scooch towards the front edge of the chair using the back of the chair for support and I'm going to let this leg drop. So I'm letting it hang. Sometimes I could put like, if you don't have super sensitive knees, you can put a pillow or a block under this leg so you can lean more into it. But here allowing gravity to open it up and I've got my toes tucked. And the further I walk it back, the bigger opening I'll have in the front. So breathing here. slowly and carefully bring that foot out switch around to the other side so holding the back of the chair and then allowing that front leg to hang walking the toes back sitting up nice and tall and once again breathing And then bring that leg back up, walk the feet together, shake it out. And finally, uh, last pose, we'll do a wide-legged forward fold. So you can do this seated on a chair. You can also do this standing. So seated, bring your feet out wide, hands on the thighs, and you can come forward, rest your hands on your thigh, or your rest your forearms on your thighs and come forward like this. You could come down to a block or pillow or come all the way to the floor. You can also be standing. So feet are parallel to each other. Maybe the heels are out a bit. Hands to your waist. Come forward. You could come forward to a chair. Here. That may feel good. You could come down to something closer to the floor or all the way to the floor. Breathing here. Two more breaths. strong back come all the way up step your feet together shake them out and then find a comfortable place well we'll wrap up final relaxation so you can lie on the ground if that feels all right for you maybe putting a pillow under your knees uh, you can stay seated in the chair. You could get comfy in your favorite recliner. So pause, close your eyes, or set a soft gaze, and allow your body to rest and breathe. Release tension from your forehead. Soften your eyes and their sockets. Unclench your jaw. Release your shoulders away from your ears. Allow whatever is holding you, the floor, a chair, whatever it is, to hold you completely. Resting here. Finding your breath. Moving your awareness from the top of your head, down your neck to your shoulders, 
down your arms to your fingers. Back up to your shoulders and then your chest or the center of your heart. Then resting at your belly, feeling the breath move in and out. Moving down through your legs to your feet. And then breathing in all the way up to the top of the head. And allowing your body to rest. You can pause here and rest as long as you'd like in this place. to move on with your day, wiggle your fingers and thumbs, your toes, your ankles, move your head. Bring your hands up and rub your hands together, creating some heat. Bring your hands in, bring the warmth to your chest. Thank yourself for making this time for you, for finding your breath. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your practice today. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste.